Hello and welcome to St. Mary's High School for tonight's matchup between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the St. Mary's Rough Riders. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Scott Mag. And Scott, a big Western Buckeye League matchup tonight. The Titans and the Rough Riders both come in undefeated, still early in conference play, but that's when those early games, they can pay off big, especially if you get tripped up towards the end of the year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, St. Mary's coming in undefeated, 7-2 and two overall. Titans come in at 8-1. and one. Uh, Both of them, under, as you mentioned, undefeated in WBL. It's going to be a big contest. I think if St. Mary's controls the live ball turnovers that don't lead to baskets, they'll have a good shot of winning tonight. Take a look at tonight's starters. First for the visiting Ottawa Glendorf Titans. They're going to start number three, Grant Schrader. Number four, Grady Tumas. Number 12, Ross Mag. Number 22, Colin White. And number 24, Caden Erford. They are going to come out and control the basketball first. Here's White, drives baseline, gets cut off, kicks it back out. Three-point try on its way, and it's no good. First quarter is underway. Tonight's quarter sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy-efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. St. Mary's with the basketball. Take a look at their starters tonight. They're going to start at number one, Noah Payne. At number five, Cobain Owens. Number 13, Alex Hayne. Number 22, Jace Turner, and number 24, Evan Anksman. So St. Mary's turns it over, their first trip down. Still tied at zero here to open the quarter. And Titans to understand that Jace Turner is their inside go-to. Titans quickly double team and he threw the ball away. Erford down in the corner, three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound comes down to the Titans, second opportunity here. White drives, gets that off the side of the rim, and he's going to pick up the charge. Huge. A great play by Alex Hayne to get down low and pick up that contact. Yeah, he's, he's as they, you know, kind of they, they mounts to the, the black and blue, the glue that keeps them together. He does all the dirty work, man. He's the guy that's scrapper. He's the guy that's going to step up and take a charge. He showed it right there why they call him the black and blue man. What a great job by him to step up and take the beating and take the charge. Not many people want to do that anymore. No, their turnover is... Ottawa Glendorf came out, as everybody's used to seeing with that pressure defense. But Turner, Turner coming out of nowhere with that block, sends it out of bounds, and it is going to go back to the Rough Riders. Great block, and waited not to give up on the play for Jace Turner, man. I tell you, he came in there from the top and blocked that from Grady Tomasis. And this is the first hurdle that every team has to clear when they're playing Ottawa Glendorf. Yep. You have to be able to dribble out of that pressure and not panic. That time St. Mary's does it high off the glass. That one's no good as Payne can't connect. Going to go out of bounds and back to the Titans. Yeah, good job by Hayne to come get that one. Again, what that press does, it also forces you to take shots. I don't know if uh, Coach Hagemeyer is okay with Payne taking that one quickly. Uh, he doesn't seem too worried, but he's got his hands crossed. Ross with the floater. That one's going to be no good. Both offenses struggling here early going to find the basket. Yep. Kind of St. Mary's started slow last week. It was 18 to 13 at halftime against St. Mary's that we had here on WOSN. They picked it up in the second half. Just kind of slow starters. Owens with the basketball here at the top of the key, guarded tightly by Schrader. He has to get rid of the St. Mary's now showing. They were showing some patience, and that three-pointer on its way as Evan Hanksman's able to knock down the Pantry Pride three-pointer. Yeah, he, he likes to hang out there and uh, and uh, shoot those threes as a six-seven guy. You wouldn't think that. You think he'd feel more comfortable inside the paint, but really he's actually a lot more comfortable hanging out that uh, three-point line and likes to square his shoulders and knock them down. I think he's got probably like I think 13 on the year. I think if my memory serves me correctly. Six foot seven senior. He's played a lot of varsity basketball. Spent a lot of time playing alongside Austin Parks, but with Parks gone on his way down to Ohio State. Angspin's team, and you see why is he's got that inside-outside game, but a nice answer by Ottawa Glandorf as Carson, or excuse me, Caden Erford is able to get that one in. Good job by Caden to get in there and shot fake and get Turner up off the ground, and then he scored it. Hayne with the turnaround floater gets that one to go off the glass. Yeah. Good move, the left-hander. They missed Erford curling. He also missed Tomas' cutting back. So Mag goes in there, and I think they're going to call it on Hayne, not on Turner, I don't think. Yep. Nope, they're going to call it on Cobain Owens. Yeah, I think over the reach. Yeah. So Owens picks up his first of the game as Ross Mag will make his first trip to the free throw line. 
shot is up. This one is no good. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Mag second shot on its way. This one's no good as well. Nice, nice tip back. back by Colin White. Can't get the second opportunity. Third chance, no good. As Ottawa Glandorf did a nice job on the board, but couldn't connect. St. Mary's runs the floor, and Alex Hain gets it to go down for two. He, he snuck out twice. Titans are going to have to get that fix. He likes to sneak out. Erford looking for some space, works against Turner, gets it out to White. White three-pointer. That one is good. The offenses were a little stagnant, but now back and forth as Colin White has another pantry pride three-pointer. Yeah. Got his feet set, shoulders square. Tell you, he's too good a shooter to let, be let that wide open. So Owens gets it. He's going to reset the offense. Payne down in the corner, tries to go inside to Turner. Good defense by Ottawa Glandorf. Three-point try on its way. No good as Hayne can't connect. Erford's going to bring it up for OG. He's going to pull up from the free throw line and buries it. Kane Erford, second leading scorer on this team, averaging just over 15 points a game, has four in the quarter. All tied at seven, just under four minutes left to go here in the opening quarter. Yeah, St. Spot. Mary's trying to get out of some trouble. Ooh, got lucky and over and back. There it was. Ball. Yep. Owens tried to pull yep. that left foot back over, sure but did. not quite in time. Payne stopped at a bad spot right on the other side of the, of the line. And do that. that that's, Titans are going to attack you there and got a good trap by the Titans. A couple of substitutions coming into the game for Arnold Glandorf. Number one, Alex Wagner. And number 14, Brody Fortman checking in. White, he's going to pull up this in the free throw line. Brother. Anything Erford can do, White can do too. Yeah, he's able to connect on that, that pull up if too. If you've been a follower of the Titans, is a turnover. Live ball turnovers usually leads to dunks for the Titans or threes. Erford for three. Oh. He connects. Colin yep. White, K. Nerford going back and forth. They got OG on top, 12 to 7, and St. Mary's wants to take a timeout. We're going to step aside, and we'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Altman Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor, outdoor space by Altman Outdoor. Altman Outdoor has automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchen for your outdoor living. Ottawa Glandorf up 12-7 as they have gone on a 10-0 run here in the first quarter. Coach Hagemeyer wanted to take the timeout, refocus his team. We'll see what they have coming out of the timeout. Yep, and, and what that is, is those live ball turnovers leads to, like I said, wide open threes or dunks. As Three Payne pointer answers. goes. Payne's able to connect on the Panthery Pride three. And again, when they were they were patient on offense, they didn't hurry, they drove inside, inside out. It's great offense right there by the Rough Riders. Kick out, three pointer. That one's going to be no good. Fight for the loose ball. Ends up in the hands of Wagner. Wagner's going to give Erford another chance, and he connects. Erford doesn't miss those second opportunities nope. very often. It's got to limit the shots and can't turn the ball over, live ball turnovers. Nice hesitation that time by Jace Turner to let the defender fly right by. And he answers. Good it's his job first two of the night. By the Rough Riders, throw it up the sideline and then go middle. Sideline middle has been helping them. A little bit of a track meet right now as yep. Grant Schrader comes down and scores. Both offenses started off slow, but they found their footing. And Noah Payne has the answer. Yep. They're throwing up the sideline, and they're sending somebody right down the middle or going long, so the Titans got to get back. They're kind of lurking and trying to get steals, but they got to, once they throw it over top, they got to hustle back, or they're going to give up layups all night. White not able not to connect on that one, but yep. Owens standing out of bounds when he caught that one, so it's going to stay with Ottawa Glandorf. Substitutions coming into the game. See number 23, Brennan Steger coming in for St. Mary's. And then coming in for Ottawa Glandorf, number five, Connor Kitchen. And Brady Tomas. Is and Grady Tomas checking yeah, back Brady. into the game. Mm -hmm. Riffer running the point here. 
Herford with 10 in the quarter already. That's he fake. dumps it off. Tumas back out to him. Extra pass into the corner. Three-pointer on its way. That one's going to be no good. Nice job on the offensive board, though. As Brody Fortman with the nice box out gets the second opportunity. That one is up, and it is 19-14. Titans on top. Titans kind of pulled back a little bit off that 2-2-1 press, making an adjustment because they're getting beat long. Oh, that's happening. <laughs> I was going to say, Turner got his shirt pulled out of his jersey. Fortman had a, a hand of the jersey, and he got a foul on Brody Fortman. Brody Fortman picking up his first. This is team's second of the quarter. Pretty clean first quarter on the defensive side yeah, for both teams. Nice him. little touch pass down low to Owens. Yeah. See, he had gotten left it all alone, and yeah, the defense went reason, to hell. Yeah, the Titans switched, and they didn't switch completely. Two guys were at the one, and Owens was left wide open underneath the basket. Tomas is with yeah. the turnaround. Two pointers, his first basket of the night. As Ottawa Glandorf has had an answer every time St. Mary's has made a basket. These offenses right now back and forth with one another under a minute left to go. 21-16 out of a Glandorf on top. Angsman does a nice job finding Steger cutting under the basket, and he gets that one to go. St. Mary's has figured out the Titans are kind of staring at the basketball, and they're cutting back door and getting easy baskets. They're attacking a dr the defender, and he looks at the ball to help up, and they're going back door and getting layups. Help, they got to get the help there a little bit quicker tonight. Okay, Nerford with the basketball. Ottawa Glendorf looks like they're going to try to hold for the last shot here of the quarter. Tomasis pulls it back out right around the logo at midcourt. See Nerford taking a peek up at the scoreboard to check the time. Ooh, had, had that dribble lost, pushes it up ahead. Stagger does a nice job controlling, able to get that one in. Yep. No time left on the clock, and the first quarter comes to a close. The offense has exploded here to begin things as OG is going to have the one-point lead going into the second quarter. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Second quarter just about underway. Tonight's quarter sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. Nick Garlock alongside Scott Mag, and it was a very fun first quarter. Yeah. The offenses were on the move. You saw St. Mary's go out to that quick lead. They were up 7-2 to two early, but then Ottawa Glandorf turned it on. St. Mary's, nice job answering. One point, close game. Yeah, and first four minutes, we were thinking it was going to be 10-8 to eight at the first quarter, but then all of a sudden the offenses, the last four minutes, took over and the defense had a hard time stopping them. Kicked it back out to Owens. They're trying to get Turner on the inside. Every time he touches the ball, that help is coming. Three-pointer on its way. Stagger can't connect. Hain. Great job for the basketball, though, as Hain put himself in the right position sure and got that put back. And he hustled to get through it. He, like, I don't know who was trying to box him out, but he just walked right through him. Good hustle. And then Hain with the defense as White had to get rid of it. Titans able to maintain possession, though. Tomasis, he's going to drive. Gets cut off. Turn around. Jumper, Not no good. good. Turner comes up with that rebound. St. Mary fan base letting him hear about that one. Yeah, he, he got stopped, but then he just kind of gave up and bailed and tried to turn around jumper. That's just that's a difficult shot that even the pros have a hard time hitting. Hanksman gets cut off by White and has to get rid of it. Oh, that's Erford on the defense that time. Good job by Erford. To Hank's been left all alone, and he connects. Erford had gone down low to help with the defense yeah. and lost Hanksman. He got the wide open look for the Pantry Pride three-pointer. That's one guy that you just can't double off of. You got to make sure you know where he's at. He can make that open three-pointer. He's been living on that his whole life. As Grant Schrader takes it hard to the rim. That's good to see for Grant. Grant Schrader did a nice job creating space that time. He saw a little bit of the bump. He knew he needed some room. Stayed under control and able to get the two. Yeah, and I think he's the X factor, right? Because he can take that bump, and you, you notice that. He took several bumps and got to the rim, and he's so athletic and 
What a screen by Owens. Yeah, Owens sealed <laughs> yeah. off that lane. And, and great job taking advantage of it by Steger as he's able to get that in. That's his sixth point of the night. Yeah. 27-23, St. Mary's on top. Turner comes up with that rebound. Tynes got to find some way to shut down this St. Mary's offense is on all cylinders here. Dagger going to try from three. No good. White comes up with the rebound for the Titans. Pushes it up ahead to Schrader. Schrader moves across the lane. And the Titans looking to create some space. White gets in the lane. Only one person guarding him. Got it up, but Owens, couldn't get it to go down. Yeah, it's going to be on Owens. Yep, yeah, it's going to be his second. Coban Owens, Owens going to pick up his second. Team's first here of the corner. As Colin White will step to the free throw line, he shoots right around 75% from the charity stripe this year. No surprise, White leads the Titans in scoring on the season, just under 25 points per game. And he is able to connect on that first one. I think with this next point, if he scores, he becomes, I think, second in the county, if not third all-time scorer. He needed seven to to get in that looks that spot and he is perfect yep. from the line so now he passes Blake Reynolds from Columbus Grove in the Putnam County all-time scoring list still a lot of basketball left to go we know that Colin White can score a lot of points I'm sure that by the end of the season yeah. Ooh, we may see close. him take another sp spot oh he's gonna take a lot of spots <laughs> three-pointer from Angsman oh, as he was able to do check. the sidestep but another offensive rebound as both teams are doing a great job on the offensive boards. Yeah, by my count, that's the eighth offensive rebound of the game. White kicks it down into the corner, and that three-pointer is good. Grant Schrader with a big three-point try. That is seven on the night as he connects on the Pantry Pride three-pointer. Yeah, you've got to be careful. they got White up top in that 3-2 press. They get a little lazy and throw one across. That's going to be a dunk going the other way. It's been one more time, left wide open, and he connects. That's a deep one. But again, it's him coming straight at the basket. It was a good shot by him. Fortman loses it. You saw Eggsman trying to yeah. reach around and poke that one away. I don't think I think Fortman just lost yeah, it. Yeah, he kind of stopped in his tracks. Sure did. A little bit of an awkward play that time, but it ends up in the Rough Riders' hands. Here's Payne. Gets rid of it to Turner, and St. Mary's just works it around the perimeter right now. Payne on the inside, gets it to Angsman, catch and shoot for Angsman, and good. He's feeling it tonight. Evan Angsman with his yeah. third three-pointer of the quarter, and the Titans want to talk about it. St. Mary's has opened up a lead. They are on top, 33-28. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Tonight's three-point sponsor is Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on. And we are seeing plenty of those Pantry, pantry Pride three-pointers tonight, along with a lot of other hot shooters. Absolutely. Unofficially, I have St. Mary's five of nine from threes. Titans are four of eight, so both teams are shooting at a pretty good clip here. Twos, I got St. Mary's nine of 11, and Titans seven of 14. So some hot shooting going on here. Somehow, some way, either one of these coaches got to figure out some way to stop this, these potent offenses. Well, that helps. Mags gets turned There's around by Turner. Blocks. And Mag looked like he was going to have an opening, yep. but I'll tell you what, Turner's done a great job down sure low. Is. We've seen his, get him get his hand on a couple It'll of be different a charge. balls. That's good charge. Angsman. job by Grant Schrader. Angsman out of control there. Grant Schrader stepped up to take that charge. That is the second team foul for the Rough Riders here in the second. That one's going to go back to the Titans. Substitution coming into the game as Brady Tumasis comes back in. Yeah. Actually, excuse me, I think that was Alex Wagner who checked in. Yeah, I think you're right. Here's White with the basketball, going to drive into the lane, gets cut off, turn around, jumper. That tough one's shot. good. Wow. Colin White makes the tough jumper. Yeah. That's good defense by Turner. I don't know. They got Hayne wide open down here. They've been throwing it across the top. And he loses it. 
Good Haynes. defense. Haynes slowed up there as Erford, yeah. Erford, Erford quickly got held down. Held his ground, yep. Some held tough his ground. defense and led to that turnover. Wagner's three-pointer is good as he connects on a Pantry Pride three-pointer. Wagner with his first points of the game. Both teams five of nine from threes. All tied at 33, 245 left to go here in the quarter. St. Mary's able to pass out of that pressure. Payne had to go up to get that one, though. Mm -hmm. Went up and snatched that out of the air. He could almost hear the smack way up here. Trying to see if they couldn't work Angsman off the screen. White no. staying right with him. Kind of run a little bit of variance of the flex. Been around longer than I've been alive. Turner works Turner, against yep. Erford, and we're going to have yep. a foul. This one's going to go against Erford. A lot of contact down low. I think, I think if you were either team, you could you know, yeah, you make an argument. Right. But I think the official had Erford kind of got his hand out a little bit. Again, uh, I don't know if it's much. You see Erford down there checking his lips. Trying to think, maybe he got a little bit of blood there, but he looks yeah. to be okay. In, in the in yeah. for the officials, in defense of the yeah. officials, they've been letting them play. Right. This has been fast sure. paced, up yes. and down. And Hank's been catch and shoot. That one's going to be no good. A little bit of a heat check that time. Can't get it to go down. White comes up with the rebound. Yep. Tied at 33. White's going to drive. Right hand floater. Good. White coming alive here in the second. He now has 11 points in the game. Payne drops it off to Turner. Started by Erford, so he has to get rid of it. Back up top to Steger. St. Mary's trying to go inside one more time. Turner, turn around. Left hand, that's a nice move. Can't Good job by it. Hain. Hain in yeah. the right position again. Of, yep. We've seen him able to get his hands on a couple of offensive rebounds, but that time couldn't hold on as he went out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Titans. Yep. Good hustles. Whoever's guarding him has got to box him out because he's coming hard to the rim. Kid plays his tail off. Minute 20 left to go here in the quarter. OG with the lead, White with the basketball. Nice pass down into the corner. Erford ends up with it. Can't get that one to go down. Turner fights for the rebound and gets it. Good job St. by Mary's. Turner to box out there as well. Sorry. No, I was going to say, St. Mary's looks like they're slowing down a yeah, little, little bit. bit. They're just getting tired. We've been seeing them. The offense has really been at their best when they've been able to get up and down the yep. floor. But last couple of rebounds, St. Mary's brings it up a little bit slower. And that's allowed it's OG to get down on defense. And yep. I think that's why we've seen St. Mary's slow down a little bit here and offensively. Titans played nine so far this game. St. Mary's their six. Hank's been one more Flex. time for yeah. three. That is now 12 points in the quarter, all on three-pointers for Evan Hanksman. 15 on the night. Well, I got he gives the steal there, too. Yeah, the Rough Riders on top here. 30 seconds left to go. White almost lost that one. Had to gather it back in. We'll see what OG wants to draw up here for the final shot of the half. St. Mary's fans coming to their feet. The gym getting loud. Yep. White trying to direct traffic. Finds a wide open Wagner underneath who finishes. There was some contact too. No yep. whistle. One second left to go. Steger gets it off. And that one's going to be no good. An absolutely fantastic yes. first half by both teams. It's been fast. It's been fun. And going into the locker room, Ottawa Glandorf's going to hold the one-point lead. We'll step aside be back with the third quarter here on WOSN. Welcome back. Today's scoreboard is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoors. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and kitchens, all at Ultimate Outdoor. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. Nate Garlock alongside Scott Mag. Third quarter just about underway. Tonight's quarter sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Matt's Heating and Cooling is your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. It was a very fast-paced, offensive-heavy yeah. uh, first half as St. or excuse me, Ottawa Glendorf went into the locker room with just a one-point lead. 
St. Mary's being led by the hot three-point shooting of Evan Angsman as Ottawa Glandorf picks up right where they left off as uh, Grady Tumasis has two. Yeah, it's uh, first adjustment of the game is St. Mary's comes out in a 3-2. Pass over to Angsman. He thought about it for yeah, a second, they sure but did. he decided to pull that one down. Yeah, this place would have exploded if he had knocked that one. Ooh, good cut by Turner. A little bit too far on that lead by Payne. Turner luckily was able to hold on to that one. So now St. Mary's is going to reset back inside to Turner. Looking for a Ooh. cut as Hayne had come open and trying to sure pass did. that out to Owens, but a little bit off on that pass. It's going to go out of bounds and back to the Titans. Yeah, just right off his hand. I think, I think it was Payne. He took his eye off it there and was going to try to make a pass before he caught it and went right through his hands out of bounds. Now St. Mary's back to a 2-3. Nice job by Payne Hain to knock that one away. And then he's going to run the floor. Yes. Long pass wow, and a shot. great job by Hain. Good body control to get that one yeah. up as he was a little sure out of did. control. But, but this hustle to get down there. I mean, he knocked that one away and took off. Nobody went with him, and he got an easy basket. Three-pointer on its way. That one's going to be no good. Fight for the loose ball ends up in the hands of Turner. Tell you what, I like about Turner is he gets his hands on it. There's no one's taking it away, and he, yeah, he snatches it, doesn't he? He's got some strong hands. Yeah, he doesn't get moved off that spot no, he very doesn't. easily. Pretty good passer, and he gets the ball in his hands, and nobody takes it away from him. Hank's been guarded by Mag. Gets this one back to Turner. St. Mary's right now not doing a whole lot of dribbling. They're doing a good job getting yeah. rid of the ball, finding those passing lanes. Oh. And some miscommunication. Payne. I think Payne thought Turner was calling for it, but yeah. I think Turner was actually trying to set up a screen. That's Either their way, eighth though. turnover, and it's probably probably Payne's coming out as animated as Coach Hagemeyer was. He just kind of walks to the other end of the bench, doesn't even want to talk to him. <laughs> Still a one-point game. Ottawa Glendorf on top, 39-38, just underway here in the third quarter. Mosses looking for somewhere to go with the basketball. Tries to get Good it down job. to White. Angsman, though, able yeah. to get around and get Good his job hand on Good job by Angsman. Just stay high and right. You can't get pinned. Knock that one away. Good defense by Angsman. Long pass into the backcourt. Moss able to gather that one in. Brings it up. Has oh, it good job away. by Owens. Good quick Stagger. hands. Going to move it up. Looked like he had Owens there for a minute, but dropped it to Angsman, and Angsman finishes at the rim. That is his first two points. Two-point basket out of the night, but he, he has 17. 17 total. He's averaging, I think, 20 in his nice tur takeaway there as well. Hanksman works against White. Does a nice job of switching to the left hand. Can't get it to go down as Hain fights through the contact. Can't get it to go, but he's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. Yeah, it's good Again, he is Johnny on the spot, right? He runs hard to the rim, and if you don't box him out, he's going to go get it. Good job by Hain to go grab that ball and reward himself with two foul shots. Hain goes to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line to shoot two. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Hain able to connect on his first, has one more coming. By I, my official stats, this is the first time St. Mary's been to the foul line. Second shot is up, and it is good. Yeah, I have the same thing as they have done all their damage from the field or from behind yep. the arc. White gets fed down low. Gonna turn Good around defense. and try to wow. get it up Good over, job. but couldn't go down. Turner came down for the help, and I think he's going to get whistled for that foul. That's yeah. going to be Turner's first. Good job by Hain. Alex Hain to just uh, kind of make – White and take a tough shot, but unfortunately, you know, White is so good of getting up to get the next the ball. That's what makes him so good. He misses it, and he's up getting the rebound before anybody else notices he misses it. Colin White stays perfect at the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. He now has 13 on the night. And Mary's got to get over the timeline. They do. Turner has it, looking to pass out of trouble. So that defense from St. Mary's continues to be smothering it just enough to make St. Mary's have to slow down a little bit. Yeah, and you can just kind of tell St. Mary's has been working on this. 
That was almost a kick. Got yes. away from it. Steger tried to feed it into a tight window. Ooh. And a great chase down block yeah. by Hain, but a hard hit yep. into the wall by Alex Wagner. He looks to be okay, <laughs> but he's going to make a trip to the free throw line. And again, I, I don't think that was a dirty foul. That was just a hustle foul to Hain to come all the way down there and basically saying uh, you no know, easy ones, and he blocked that one. But unfortunately, if you're a Rough Riders fan, he got a little bit of the body as well coming down. That's why Alex Haynes at the line shooting two. So his hustle's paid off already, even if Alex makes this one. Instead of giving up two, he may only give up one or none. So that was great hustle by number 13, Alex Hain. Wagner second shot on its way. That one's no good either. As Alex Wagner comes up empty on that trip to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. This stays a one point game in St. Mary's favor. They're going to have to go quickly and we're going to have a timeout as Coach Hegemeyer did not want to lose that nope. possession. St. Mary's on top 42-41, 424 left to go. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So St. Mary's takes the timeout as they were running up against that 10-second count. We'll see how they pass out of trouble here. Hanksman gets it, gets it down into the corner to Hain. Out of Glendorf doing a nice job of covering a lot of area. Angspin steps into three, and unfortunately, too much space yep. there to Angspin yet again as he now has six three pointers on the night. He's got 20, he's got the hot hand. Here's Wagner working along the wing, gets it down to Erford. Erford has been quiet since a big first quarter. Ooh, yep, I'd agree with you. Foreman, ooh, got away with maybe a walk there. He kind of shuffled his feet. And good job by Owens, but to no avail to White. Three-point try from Erford. We said he'd been quiet. He must have nah, heard us as he knocks down that pantry yeah. pride three-pointer. Sure did. Down on the other end, a good defensive stand by Erford. Yeah. And the officials are going to stay last touch by Ottawa Glendorf. It'll stay with St. Mary's. And I think Hayne was trying to pass that one to... Turner underneath and try to go through two guys. He got lucky that they got the possession because that could have been disastrous. 319 left to go. St. Mary still on top. Bob comes into Turner, gets it right back to Angspin. Angspin gonna go oh, again. Wow. And he seems to not be able to miss from behind the arc. Yeah, he's heat check here, man. Titans, somebody might have to face guard him and not let him touch it. Because he's hitting shots from everywhere. Ooh. They're going to call it on Owens, I think. Yeah, Schrader, Schrader seemed to hang in the air for a long time <laughs> sure as did. Turner come around to turn that one around. But too much contact by Cobain Owens as he's going to pick up his third foul. Yep. And Grant Schrader going to take a trip to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line to shoot two. First shot up, and it is good. He now has eight points on the night as Owens is going to take a seat with that third foul. Yeah, I don't. He's he's trying to think of how how do I get away with it? He got his hand straight up. That one's going to be too short. short. He didn't hit anything, so it should have been a whistle. As Payne came in to take uh, Owens' spot, and now we see number ten Holden Aldrich yep. coming into the game for Ottawa Glendorf as well. We've seen St. Mary struggle at times with this press from Ottawa Glendorf. Let's see if they can get out of it here. Steger going to work around. Nice job getting up into that front court. Erford about got one there. He was going and he kind of went behind his back. If he'd had one more dribble, I think Erford would have got that one. Turner working down low against Aldrich. Up and under, gets that one off the glass, but no good. Mm, and he's going to go to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Coach McLaughlin wanted to travel. He, did, he was up and under and every which way. I, I, don't, I didn't really see if he kept that pivot foot down. He must have, but Coach McLaughlin didn't think so. Jace Turner able to connect on his first. Yeah, he's just back out to a four-point lead. 
you know, Jace Turner, I think he's got that old man game. He's got the up under. He's got the uh, drop step, get you on my hip, and he's got all kinds of stuff. And it's, Hain was the same thing. He was a good hustle that uh, I think Erford kind of tipped it because and Hain noticed right away. He's like, that's off him. Uh, Alex he, Hain has been the hustle glue oh, guy here tonight for St. Mary's. He's been all over the he's floor. He's been the energized so, bunny. They had no answer for him with his, his attack in the glass and his defensive prowess. He's been everywhere. And I'll tell you what, Jace Turner's been right there, too. Yep. As much as we've called his name, only three points. He's been getting it done in other ways. That time, though, has it taken away by Erfurt. He spins into the lane. He's going to pick up the foul from uh, Evan Engsman. Yep. And he's going to make a trip to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. We're going to step aside. When we come back, we'll have Caden Erfurt at the free throw line on WOSX. Welcome back. Tonight's free throws are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Caden Erford is at the free throw line as he was able to connect on his first. Saw Angsman pick up that foul as he got up high, but yeah, just way too much as he came over. He swatted down, and once he swats down, that's an automatic foul. They missed Stagger. He was long gone. They, If, he, if uh, Payne could have seen him, they had him for a wide open uh, layup, kind of like a, a fly pattern in football. He was wide open. So back down to a two-point lead. St. Mary's on top, 49-47, 2 18 left to go here in the third. Alex Hain with the basketball. A long pass as that one got turned over. I thought Steger had stepped Bang. out of bounds, and White finishes with authority. Yep. That's what we kind of talked about a little bit in the first half. Live ball turnovers lead to dunks or wide open threes. And right there is proof they turn that turnover into a dunk for Colin White because they do a, such a good job of going from defense to offense. That's been their MO for the last three or four years. All tied at 49. Three-pointer on its way, and it rattles down. And Brennan Steger with a huge three-pointer for the Rough Riders. Nine of 15 on the game by my unofficial stats. Here's White working against Hanksman on the switch. White. Steps back, decides to drive, and he's going to put that in as he drew the contact. Ainsman's going to pick up his third team, or excuse me, his third foul. Basket's good, they call it. And that is the team's fifth as well. So a minute 25 left to go if there are any more fouls against St. Mary's for the rest of yep. this quarter. OG's going to shoot free throws. Colin White with an opportunity here for the and one. And he connects. White, five for five for the free throw line tonight. Eight of 14 for the Titans on the game. And we are tied once again, 52 apiece, a minute 20 left to go. St. Mary scores from behind the arc. Titans score a three the old fashioned way. Ooh, Ooh. thanks, man. Better be. Tried to get White off of his yeah. feet. Hain, better be careful you throwing that long a pass. You got White lurking. Good defense by Aldrich. Off balance shot, no good for Turner. Ottawa Glendorf coming quickly. Aldrich works underneath the basket. <laughs> Might have gotten away with one there. Sure did as uh, Coach McLaughlin goes timeout. Yeah, he's not going to lose job, that yeah. possession that time. They already got away with one. Didn't want to yeah. risk it again. 52-52, under a minute left to go here in the quarter. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring your resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. All automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens all at Ultimate Outdoor. I'd also like to thank tonight's three-point sponsor, Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Coming out of the timeout, Ottawa Glandorf. See if they can't trigger the inbounds play. Erford takes it. He's going to go baseline. And he's going to get up, gets the contact, putting it, drawing it up much better coming out of that timeout as Caden Erford is going to go to the free throw line to shoot the end one. That'd be uh, four fouls on Engsman, too. That also hurts. Evan Engsman has yeah. been on fire. He's from been their the offense, and yep, unfortunately, now that's four. He's got to learn to stay on his feet. 
Hayden Nurford lines up. Free throw from the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line on its way. And it is good. Okay, Nurford three for three from the free throw line here in the quarter. This one's gonna get kicked out of bounds, stays with St. Mary's. We saw St. Mary's open up about a five point lead here in the quarter, now find themselves down three. Looking to inbound it, great job by Aldrich to get his hand on that one. Ends up back in the hands of the Titans. Masses. Got yeah. cut off, has to kick it back out. That's now good White decision. is going to let everybody kind of settle, <laughs> yeah. get spread out. Right. Got the right man in the ball, so the and the uh, Rough Riders are uh, switching into a 3-2 zone here. White, more than happy to sit there, let that clock run down. 20 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Now they're going to run the offense. White's going to cut through. Tomasis works up top. Final eight seconds, Tomasis. He has to get rid of it. Here's Erford. Erford's going to drive through some traffic, and that is what Colin White does. Even when he doesn't score, he is enough yep. of a presence. He throws three St. Mary's defenders. Erford put it on the floor and gets it up. Ottawa Glandorf will take the five-point lead into the fourth quarter. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's free throws are brought to you by Lee, Sam and Trusty Chicken in Alima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Fourth quarter just about underway here at St. Mary's. Tonight's quarter sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Matt's Heating and Cooling is your home in the, in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. St. Mary's begins with the basketball as they find themselves down five. Three-point try on its way. Ooh, that about went in. Yeah, it had been a nice way to start this quarter, but Payne can't connect. Masses drops it down into the corner, gets it right back, looking for the drive. And he gets it off the glass. Maybe got away with the hook there, but did a great job yep. of disguising that I as agree. he got some space and off the glass for two. Turner gets it down to Owens. Owens drives nice with the cover. right hand and gets it to go down. First basket of the night since the first quarter for Owens. Comes in a big spot as sure St. Mary's yeah. able to keep it close. Good aggressive drive by him. Here's White for three off the front of the rim and in as Colin White connects on a Pantry Pride three-pointer. He's got a foul, yeah. He, Grady Tomas has got too many hands in there. He's just trying to guard. He's, he gets too handsy sometimes, and he gets up, and he stands up, and he, hands, he gets hands in there, and that's easy call for the officials. He's got to move his feet a little bit. It's only Tomas's first foul here of the game, first of the quarter for the Titans. Cobain Owens with the basketball, drops it off to Turner. They're trying to get Angsman going again. Catch and shoot through the double team, no good, but Turner was left all alone, and he's going to get fouled as a Colin White just picked up his second foul. It's good to hustle by Turner to go get it. He's on the floor. Colin White with almost what you could call a quiet 21 points. <laughs> Thing is, he's got got away with the travel there. Owen's going to get fouled again. Is Tomas just what you were talking yeah, about. Tomas just getting yeah, a little he, bit too handsy. Yeah, he he he's li he likes to grab when he gets behind it. He's got again. He's got to learn to. You can't be grabbing. He's it's okay with the arm bar and the touch, but he kind of grabs sometimes when he gets beat and makes it easy for the officials to make that call. He, he, a couple games he's had that problem. So that's already the nice third team foul, fake, as you saw fake. Turner. Yeah. Yes, a great job to get his defender off his feet. Gets that one to go down. Back to a one possession game. No, excuse me. It's 62 56, so oh, nice. still a little way Good to job go. By there, but another Ooh. steal as yeah. White ran right, right into a waiting Turner. Yeah, and, and Turner didn't do anything dirty. The Titan fans ain't happy, but because but White basically ran into a brick wall. That's, that's the problem. 
Turner was just right there and down there, and Walt White just ran into him. Good job by Hayne to get back his head around and get on that back door cut and knock that one away. That was great well, defense by Hayne. Yeah, we talked about Turner. He, he doesn't get moved yeah. off his spot. No. He, he, he is a solid. He doesn't go anywhere nor regularly. When he has right. time to prepare for it, he's definitely not moving. Yeah. Just look at his calves. He just, I, I, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think he's a football player. I'm sure he's pretty good uh, offensive tackle. Got good feet. St. Mary's looking to get the offensive going, trying to get a little bit closer. Six-point game. Catch and shoot by Angsman. Throwing and it up there now. Yeah, he's lost but that There's that touch. guy again. And Hayne. But he's not taking good shots. Those other yeah. ones he got his shoulder square. Now he's just running out there, turning and chucking it up. He's not taking good ones, but Hayne bailed him out. The other ones, he's, you know, shoulders are squared. It's going inside out. He's kind of going away from the basket, falling away. Very, very difficult shots that he's taken. And before he was taking in motion, in rhythm threes, and he was knocking them down. Payne with the yeah, nice jumper shot. gets that one to go down. Noah Payne, he connects, making it a four-point game. St. Mary's takes the timeout. We're going to step aside as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So St. Mary's takes the timeout as they've pulled back within four. A lot of fouls here in this early fourth quarter by Ottawa Glandorf. They already have four team fouls. The next one is going to start sending St. Mary's to that free throw line to shoot two. We'll see how big that may come into play here as we move through this fourth quarter. Right. And, and another thing that is Anksman has got four fouls, and now he's over there guarding Erford. So this should be easy for Erford to get easy pickings because Anksman has, can't even challenge because he can't afford to get a fifth foul. He'd be out of the game. And that's what you saw right there as Erford yeah. took full advantage of that one. I mean, that was, that was about easy. as easy as it gets. Right, that was as easy as two points he's had all night. Back out to a six-point lead, 64-58. Owens with the basketball. Going to feed Turner on the inside, working against Aldrich. Turner drug that foot, but got away with the travel maybe, but ends up in the turnover anyway, as Kay Nerford's going to bring it up for the Titans. Again, Hanksman's on Erford. I'm sure he's going to go right to the block and score again because he can't guard him. There they go. The help came a little bit late. You see Schrader come open underneath the basket, but the Titans can't finish as Anksman comes up with the rebound. 4.20 left to go. Owens with the basketball. St. Mary's can't afford too many empty offensive possessions anymore. Anksman got the chance to set his right. feet see and it. connects. See, it's so much better than the other couple two he took. He had his feet set, shoulders square, and knock it down. I mean, it's not rocket science, but sometimes these kids watch too much of that NBA and think they can do that too. He's been on fire when he's got his shoulders squared. 26 points on the night, a three-point game now, 64-61. Ottawa Glander with the basketball. White looking over to the bench, waiting for the play call to come in. White moves around with the right hand. Works against Hayne. Hayne has been absolute menace yes, on defense all night long, but White wins that one-on-one. -on -one. Yep, he just jumped over him. He was just more athletic than Hayne. Hayne did everything right, but he just can't elevate as quick as White, and White just jumped over him and scored. White just, now with 23 yeah. on the night as Tomas. Tomas, this is going to yeah. get picked up with another foul. This That's is going to be his third. third. Yeah, three in a row this quarter. Now Cobain Owens is going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line to shoot two. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Alima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's is your free throw sponsor. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Owens able to connect on his first. Five points on the night for Cobain. Looking to make it six. 
this a one possession game if he makes it, it sure does. 66, 63. Right. Which is crazy how this new rule, that led to two points for a foul that was out by the three point line with a, with a guard leaning on, making a kind of a reaching foul, which is crazy. Oh, oh, Colin White oh, go with the left hand to the baseline. As he, with that quick first move, left Hayne yeah. all alone. Hayne tried to play catch up, but you saw White take a hit yeah. to the back of the head that time on that swipe. Does a nice job finishing, and he's going to go Is to the Flea State Best Recipe Chicken free throw line. Yeah, I think that was on Hayne. Yeah, it was on Hayne. Hayne yeah. was, as he's not able to Erfer finish, Erfer comes up with the rebound. No good, third opportunity. So that ball's oh, going to be good. saved. What a heads up yep. play by Caden Erford as he quickly got to that and threw that off of Turner. Yes, he does. Good hustle. Him and Aldridge kind of fighting for that one. Heads up play Ooh, by Erford, not Ooh, giving they up missed. on it. <laughs> they missed. Tomasis is wide open. Erford for three. That one's going to be no good. Angsman comes up with the rebound. Owens looks to the inside, gets it to Turner. He's guarded by Aldrich. Nice, cut. nice give nice and go cut. to Owens. Oh, he just can't. almost got it. Yeah, he can't get that yeah, to go off the front cut. of the rim. It's like give and go down there. And I tell you, I, I, I'm impressed with Turner. He's, you know, he's only had a couple points here tonight, but he's passed the ball mostly pretty good tonight down there. They go in, they they feed off him as a passer. Like I said, he, he's kind of got that old school game. He's up and under. He, he's a good passer. You don't, you don't see that from he's Plays well with his back to the basket. So Owens makes that first one there. 68, 64, 233 left to go. As Coben Oven Owens stays perfect from the free throw line. He's and making a living there tonight. They it's cannot continue to trade baskets. No. They're going to need a stop. They need a here. stop, yep, yep. To keep this, it's within a one possession game, so. There goes White, oh, nice spin wow. into the lane. It just can't guard him. Colin White, too much that time on that offensive possession. Got that one to go. Pushes it back out to a five-point lead. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well and be back on WOSA. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 70 to 65 every time that St. Mary's gets it within one possession. Ottawa Glandorf has had an answer. Owens yeah. with the basketball, working against Tomasis. He got lucky. had it taken off of his foot but picked yep. it back up. Ooh. Fortunate for St. Mary's to it maintain sure possession. Uh -oh. This one's going to get poked away. This is going to be a dunk because... Two-handed yep. as Colin White finishes. Yep. Gets this back out to a seven-point deficit. A huge turnover. Yeah, that was huge. St. Mary's now is going to have to go quickly. Hanksman has had the hot hand. Step back three. That one's going to be short. Once again, not an opportunity away, to set yeah. those feet. No. He said his feet has been money, but he tries to step back. I just... With as hot as he's been, yeah. I don't mind him shooting those threes, but St. Right. Mary's got to find ways yes. of coming off screens, giving him at least Something. a second or two to get those feet set. Or uh, throw it into the post to Turner, which they have him coming off some sort of a, a side screen curling around. And St. Mary's is going to have to foul a ton here in a minute 30. And I just can't believe. Here comes Angsman still in. Turner. Yeah. Comes the trap, they're trying to force the turnover. Erfer doing a nice job protecting the basketball. Back out to White. Now you think they're going to have to foul. Yeah, I believe so. Here comes so. Payne. Long pass, down low to Schrader. Nice job dribbling that one back out. A lot of time coming off the clock if you're St. Mary's. OG just going to pass it back right. and forth at this point. And finally, we're going to have, no, we're going to have the timeout. Time I thought yep. a foul had came, but nope. Coach McLaughlin wants to talk about it. We'll step aside again as well and be back on WOSA.
Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Kay Nerford going to trigger the inbounds for the Titans. And five second, five call. second yes. call. So after the timeout, Ottawa Glendorf had called that timeout. You know Coach McLaughlin is not happy with that execution no. and a big turnover for St. Mary's. Right, and, and great job by St. Mary's is switching every screen, and they jumped them and was, didn't allow any easy pass in for the Titans. Now they got to score and score quickly. Let's see who they get the who gets the basketball. Owens, he's going to drive. Nice tries to go oh. inside as Hayne can't gather that one in, and it's going to go back to OG. And he, he had Hain a little bit there. He just threw just a smidge too far. White comes open underneath the basket. Here comes the trap, and Payne is going to get whistled for the foul. Which is his first. So, oh, no, they actually no. got Alex Hain on that one. Did they? Wow. So I Alex, thought they got it on Payne. I did, too, but they gave it to, they gave right. it to Hain. He has zero fouls. So they got still two, two more yet. Yeah, two more still to got, go. Uh -oh. Long pass to White, gathers it in. A little hesitation, can't get that one to go down. Hain, for the one of the few times we've seen Getting him not out, be yeah. able to get the offensive rebound yep. as White puts it back in. 40 seconds. Now you can't pick up your dribble there. Lucky that wasn't a live ball turnover. Ooh, good heads up play yeah. by Turner as he was falling back. That right. was going to be an over the back. And it sure was. He was falling out of bounds. He threw it off of White's leg. Nine-point game, only 33.3 .3 seconds left to go. St. Mary's running out of time. Owens drops it off to Turner. They got to go quick. Hanksman, as he got White in the air, but no contact. Haynes, three-point tries, no good. It's going to go out yep. of bounds with 21 seconds left to go, and that might have been the final straw for St. Mary's. Yeah, and Coach Hagemeyer is not happy with the – with a shot in the corner, he thought Anksman got fouled. White has the basketball. Looks like St. Mary's is not going to try to foul. Trying to get a steal. And we got Grant Schrader wide open in the. Schrader just going to dribble it yep. around, and St. Mary's Tomasa. is going to let the clock run out. Or excuse me, that was Tomasa who yep. dribbled that one out. So Ottawa Glandorf makes the trip over to St. Mary's, and they came away with a big Western Buckeye yep. League victory as they go home on top, 74 to a 65. You know, and Scott, we talked about it to open this one up. It's still early in the season. This is only the third conference game for both of these teams. But with as good as both of them are, this loss could loom pretty large for St. Mary's moving forward and is a huge win for Ottawa Glendale. Yeah, absolutely. It's a huge loss as, as, uh, if you're looking at uh, WBL standings. But I think uh, St. Mary's can use that and learn a lot for that to help them as, on the tournament run as you go down the tournament run. But you're right, it, 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 it does kind of hurt their chances of uh, being WBL champions, but I, I think they got better and they and they found some things. They found some things that work for them a little bit, and, and they're going to be pretty happy. You know, a couple less turnovers. I had them for 14 turnovers. Um, they they just kind of I think they ran out of gas. I think they got tired. Some of those shots that were falling early in that third quarter, they didn't hit it in the fourth quarter. They got tired a little bit. They had some crucial turnovers that live ball turnovers led to dunks and threes down the other end. So, you know, if they get that cleaned up, you know, they were close. They held the number two team in Division Three in the state, and they lost by seven. Again, I'm sure Coach Hagem Hagemeyer is not l looking for uh, emotional, you know, uh, moral victories there. But, you know, there are some things, a lot of the good things that they did tonight that they can build on that will help them down the road. A big night by Evan Anksman as he had eight three-pointers, but it wasn't enough as Colin White does what Colin White does. 31 points on the night. We saw him get some steals. And he turned into those turnovers that you talked about, finished with some huge dunks. A great game by him as well as Ottawa Glandorf once again comes away with the victory. That is just going to about wrap it up for us here at the St. Mary's. We'd like to thank our crew. Jacob running the cameras, doing a great job as always. We appreciate everything you do for us. 
Scott, it's been fun. I'm glad we had a chance tonight. It was a great Western Buckeye League matchup. And we start moving towards the middle of June. Everybody's looking towards February. Before we know it, we're going to be on that road to Dayton as the games only get better and better from here. One final time, Ottawa Glendorf knocks off St. Mary's. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great night, everybody.